Oak Ridge National Lab hosted two big announcements today. Energy Secretary Rick Perry spoke about plans to build the world's most powerful computer in the next three years. And 10 News reporter Sean Franklin shows us the leading role that East Tennessee is playing in shaping supercomputing. ORNL welcomed the Department of Energy Secretary Rick Perry today to announce a couple of big new innovations here on campus, which he says will carry the U.S. to the top of the world in innovation. It's fascinating uh, work that they do here every day. Rick Perry drove out in style to help drive innovation at ORNL. Men and women that work here at Oak Ridge National Lab, they do. They change the world almost on a daily basis. They're transforming the world of supercomputing. Uh, minimize. Perry helped announce the creation of Frontier, which should be the world's most powerful supercomputer when it's finished in 2021. These computers do a billion, billion calculations per second. And those of you that are counting, that's a quintillion. Uh, this is a stunning amount of power. He says it'll give ORNL researchers a new tool to dive deeper into helping the world. But now we're able to answer the, these, uh, the, the questions that, uh, that have begged us for so long. I mean, there, we're going to see innovation, we're going to see answers on the medical side that we just didn't have access to before, and our national labs are going to be right at the heart of this. <laughs> then Perry joined Congressman Chuck Fleischman and lab officials to break ground on a $95 million research facility. The translational research capability will have lab space for scientists like Athena Safat to work on quantum computing. How can we modify the atoms within a battery to make it more efficient so you don't have to recharge the batteries as often? Perry says he's looking forward to the future. Nobody's stronger or better than our national labs. Secretary Perry also toured the Aquatic Ecology Lab, which addresses ways that we can reduce mercury in the environment. We'll send it back to you.